Hi guys, I'm Antonius and in this video lesson I will show you how to make the two image views that we have here in uh, Asplath XML as we did it in the previous lesson how to make it work like uh, buttons so first let's go to Splash XML to the code as you see here we have the two image views let's put it in a, a linear layout an horizontal linear layout so I put the linear layout here as you see it it's vertical, we will change it to be horizontal so we can put the two views in one uh, line uh, image width image width, match parent, image height let's make it, let's make the height uh, wrap content ok, let's go to see what we have done we have two buttons here, ok let's put another, another image view we will put it over the two buttons and we will put, let's put the icon launcher ok nice let's go to xml let's change the to fill parent ok that's it in the center very nice let's uh, use a weight a layout weight and uh, we will give to the image view let's say 30% dot 30% and uh, let's use the same to the linear layout with uh, 70% percent try to see what we have done that's it here is the image view and here is the linear layout 70% means 30% for this and 70% of this maybe we have to change it let's put here 70% to share the height of the of all screen and here 30% ok that's it, let's put this uh, in the middle we need to have a width fill parent both image views, fill parent here and we can use the layout weight in the two views so we can share it equally so let's copy this one put it in the first image view also here, control V and set it to 50% each ok let's see wha what we have done here so let's go to, to start button change the id to image view start we'll change the second image view to iv exit and uh, we need another property to use android on click so we can use it like buttons and we add here on click and don't forget the C in capital case same to the other one control V and control shift F so we can fix the code in the beginning when I was uh, putting the linear layout here which I copy and paste it here I didn't show you that uh, you have to close the linear layout to image into the linear layout as you see it here and here is the the other one which is uh, outside the parent linear layout we have an image view into this linear layout and another linear layout and uh, in this linear layout we have a horizontal uh, orientation and the two image users equal to the line the width that's it with the xml let's go to code save it and go to splash java here is the code that we already have as you see here we have to create two image view variables instance so let's write image view and the first one we will name it uh, exit and the second one we will name it uh, start semicolon to close it and import the image view after the send content view we have to use the name of the image view that we set equals to image view and we will find control space view by id r dot id dot image view this is the image view for exit and the second one control c control v here we will change this to start ok and we need here iv start the second one that's nice very nice so now we need to what we have here we have the thread we have the song as you see i 
make a comment for the songs if you have the uh, have show the uh, the previous lessons and we have a thread here who slips the the current activity for two seconds and then when the two second pass create an indent and uh, start the activity uh, with uh, our menu so we don't need any more the thread so let's delete that we don't need the T start let's see what we have done here okay and we don't need this one also what we're gonna do now we have an on pause method here and if you remember we will finish the activity when the the other acti activity was starting we don't need it anymore we can delete that also if you don't have it it's okay so we need and on click listener so we can use the exit and the start uh, button uh, image view as a button so we can uh, do implements here and uh, on click listener is the first one double click it and we have to use the all unimplemented methods double click it okay and now we have the on click view here if you remember the parameter v give us the view that we touch or on click we have to use switch method here control space switch case statement okay in key we will put v.getid here we will set the first one r.id convgdinis.iv let's uh, start uh, with uh, the exit button okay and let's make a new one a new case for the start button okay control shift f to fix the code very nice what we want to do here when uh, the user click or touch the exit uh, image view we'll do the code here and if you if the uh, user click the start we'll do the click uh, the code here we will uh, try to set first the iv start because we have already here the code that we need and you see it here we want to create an indent and start menu class let's say uh, cut it okay here we are control v to paste it and that's it the start button the start button it's okay we have a new indent here who take care of the menu activity that we want to open to start and then we start activity we start the, the menu and we have to see what we can do with the exit uh, image view i think that we will make it that to the next lesson that's it for this lesson guys let's run it to see if it's working or not select the emulator click ok so that's the the, the result uh, guys if we click start as you see the program goes to android tips no goes to the menu that we have the team counter and speed dimension from the previous lesson that's it uh, for this lesson uh, in the next one we will uh, create the exit uh, button the image view so that's it guys see you again have a nice day